champions we did see last week. He got Box back. Bomb. Because all of these champions spike on two items. You are going for mid game, and that is where Sandbox plays towards. And we've seen this comp so many it's times. Pretty real. As Effort's going to make that first roam towards this mid lane. Paddlestar comes down. There's the Emperor's Divide and has to use the barrier that he picked up for himself. The Ignite was there. The Kimba, however, amazing. 100% always will do that. Pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> what was that? As now has to flash away from Kaz. Gorilla ulti there, but Effort blocks the majority of it. Trouble Bubble will land onto Faker, so he's unable to step further forward. Undertake lane priority back to Kana once again. But now Punch moving on in here. He's just going to soak up the culling, and that was just a gifted kill. Over to 300 goals, dollars <laughs> over to your opponent. As uh, he's going to face check once again. Undertow is going to land, but only onto Effort as he takes up. I was going to say a, a, a rude word there. <laughs> they um, tried to Emperor's Divide Shelly, but it did it too late. Kaz is going to die. Still oh, retain nice. it. 1,000 gold lead as Summit finds Kana here towards the bottom side and will spot Kuz making his way in. It is a three-man dive as uh, also Faker making his way in. The Summit does have Flash available, but there's the Emperor's Divide already. Kuz is being taken down 100% worth. There, knocked up here as Summit looks for it. Doesn't find the Infernal Chains as it does get the last hit of that Q as now Gorilla's going to make his way down. Summit with the World Ender should be able to get this one done. And that Getting this Aatrox big and fed, and even the Zoe and Ezreal farming too well. We got another team fight here, though. Yep, there's the Dread Vine that comes out. Unbreakable looking to try and get Root out of there. Brilliant cast from Kuz, demonstrating his skills on this Gragas. It means that Gorilla has nowhere to go, and a double kill lands in the lap of Teddy. This is super good for T1, is now Dub looking for a paddle star. 12.7 CS per minute is a just dumb number that is crazy high as summit's gonna die here towards the bottom side faker just huh. sweeps him onto teddy and uh the culling will pick up that kill summit was very dead in that particular team fight is now looking to trade it for effort but not going to be able to patience hey. towards dragons not entirely sure what their affinity is for that particular one but it is bad news oh, bears effort. as <laughs> good night effort is going to be out of proc his stone plate but uh he's Aww. definitely going to be dead old difference doesn't tell the whole story as we've said multiple times well, Teddy getting collapsed on here by Summit. He's looking for it, but there's the stopwatch, and the culling is going to be there to try and keep him alive. Teddy now doesn't have any lifesteal in this build, but as the flash comes over, he puts a bullet into the skull of the Aatrox. And now Faker gets the Empress Divide, but good flash from Root. Sorry, Arcane Shift from Root is going to get himself out of the way. There's the Depth Charge from Effort, but it's a great ulti from Gorilla. Ooh. All for naught as the Nautilus does pick up the dredge line and then Kuz delivers Gorilla to safety. And as now Summit looking for this one, Sun Turret is put up as Faker now underneath it, but Summit not going to have those Infernal Chains working out as he goes golden. Teleport will come in towards the backside as Summit just going to be taken down by the Phalanx set up here by T1. This game and going past 35 minutes. Sandbox now underneath this turret, but there are no more inhibitors remaining. Even Effort happy to step up with a barely a health bar. Cuz as well, as there's Emperor's Div Divide swiping the floor with this Sandbox roster. And only Dove is remaining. He'll have to watch his Nexus fall down from the Death Chamber as Faker finishes off with a triple kill. They've gotten too far behind at that point. Yep, straight up. As uh, you can see, Kana did a lot of damage. Uh, as did Teddy, doing 6,000 more than an Ezreal in a game that only lasted 30 minutes is definitely impressive. Uh, Faker also out-damaging Zoe just... <laughs> Two games. Two. <laughs> Zoe, of course, a matchup that Dove may not necessarily be too used to, but he is very comfortable on this Zoe pick, so I don't know whether it's a big enough spanner to throw into the works, but certainly a fun pick here for uh, Faker. So no no harm, no foul. I'm just going to move on over, but oh my goodness, no, Root is going to be caught out of his bullet time that was just being used to clear the wave as there's a killer instinct, but not going to be able to find the kill as Kana boops back Summit. And now, if he finds any abilities, Punch is going to move on in here. Has to dodge this one. Flash now on cooldown. Punch lines it oh. up and finds the Q. A little nook <laughs> in between the wall and the turret, then it becomes very predictable where you're going to run. So Punch was able to get that done. Well, now Punch is going to die, Valdez, unless he can safeguard his way out. Void Seeker picks the gap in between the sandbox members. Looks like Shelly will be consumed here by T1 as Cuz picks that one up. And now Summit being collapsed upon. Flash in from Effort. And he will be able to find the chain CC to lock that one down. Replace Decent by the OGM Legion is the question. Is Cuz now looking to jump in onto Dub? Oh, the dredge line. He's going to nail the kill. And he's going to easily flash. Here's Summit dying again. 
Well, he's not going to die just yet. Shock Blast not going to find the target. You can see Kuz held on to his pillar. And uh, Summit now, uh, look, can alert. Have a look in his inventory. That is, if Teddy still had his Killer Instinct available, you bet believe that he will be utilizing that one. Is there's Punch going in with uh, his Q, but I don't think this is for any good reason, as that's a double kill for Kana. <laughs> And Summit this teleports game. into a uh, situation he doesn't want to be in anymore, and he's going to wander towards his PR uh, bubble in the wrong direction. As now Summit, he's going to flash, but I have a feeling that he is still doomed. There is so much CC available, and uh, Effort's even going to light him on fire. So. of the amount of hope that Sandbox have in this particular game. As uh, Effort's going to get bound, does have his stone plate already completed, is now Punch. He might just get flashed on, and he does. Dredgeline going to land yet again, and Effort turns around getting caught into uh, catching the sandbox unawares. It's now Faker taken down to about half. Bullet time comes in. Effort in a bit of trouble there, but able to move himself over. <laughs> That's play-by-play -play synergy. As uh, Kana's looking for Dove, he'll need to land this Shock Blast, but there's a conga line in the way, unfortunately. He's gonna move on in here as uh, his position is known as Dove will have to hit this bubble. I uh, don't even know whether he's going to be able to do it. Yeah, it's down, so he's a cool hat. As there is a flash depth charge. Uh, sorry, some of it back there as Cubs looking to try and dive under the turret. Dove will collect an entire uh, Q as uh, Punch going to be obliterated. Faker finds the backline. Teddy 1v1ing Dove, just going to move on over. Does have the ignite ticking, and I believe Teddy will still fall down as now Summit. We're going to try and pull one back. Faker going to die as well as Cubs right now. <laughs> As our uh, Faker moving down from the top side, Sandbox do have vision on this Baron, as there's another dredge line that comes in, but Effort might actually be sacrificed here, and he is going to go down, but now Faker finds his way in, is going to pop the Moonfall, does a lot of damage, and now there's Teddy to come in and clean up, as Dove's going to go down, the Flash utilized there, and Teddy's going to get his revenge, as Root is uh, well and truly out of game position. time here for both games, just back to back. T1, yeah. they're able to fully ace the enemy team. It looked kind of wishy-washy and messy to start the fight, but because Faker was able to keep everybody around, they're going to wait for the <laughs> potential kill there. Not quite going to get it as I mean, Nexus so can't stop talking about it. Kind of yeah, did is great. do some insane damage in that game on the Jace.